Welcome, fellow cybernetic enthusiasts, to an unconventional yet exhilarating gaming experience. No designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. Today, we're delving into the sprawling metropolis of Night City, not on a high-end gaming rig, but on something unexpected. The 16-inch Silicon MacBook Pro, equipped with the M3 chip. We have arrived at your destination. Fox your problem, psycho suit. This looked like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. Jesus Christ. Okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Now, before you raise an eyebrow, let me clarify. The game performance may not be what you're accustomed to, but what's truly remarkable here is the ingenuity behind the solution. Enter Whiskey for Mac, a game-changing emulation software that opens the door to running PC games on Silicon Macs. This innovative tool breathes new life into our beloved machines, enabling us to explore vast virtual worlds like never before. Installing Whiskey for Mac is a breeze. Simply download the software, follow the intuitive setup process, and within minutes, you're ready to embark on your gaming adventure. But how does it work, you ask? Through a combination of clever coding and emulation magic, Whiskey for Mac seamlessly bridges the gap between PC and Mac, allowing us to experience the thrill of gaming on our preferred platform. Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood, thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed, cause the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. and you're watching WNS News. New details have emerged on the attempted abduction of Hanako Arasaka at the Arasaka-sponsored Dashi. So, let's embrace the adventure, embrace the challenges, and revel in the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. Welcome to the future of gaming. Let's dive in.
address the elephant in the room. The performance. Playing Cyberpunk 2077 on this emulation setting does come with its ups and downs. While it's undeniably impressive to see the game running on a Silicon MacBook Pro, we must acknowledge the trade-offs. Graphics may not reach the same level of fidelity as on a dedicated gaming machine, and occasional glitches may disrupt the immersion. To maintain a playable experience, you might find yourself tweaking the graphics settings, sacrificing visual splendor for smoother gameplay. In essence, while the performance may not be flawless, the mere fact that we're able to embark on this journey on a Silicon MacBook Pro is a testament to the relentless innovation driving the world of technology forward. It's not a bad time. Uh, some news trickled down the Ripper grapevine. Thought it might interest you. Cut the foreplay, Vic. Spill. <laughs> well, some implant soft updates just hit the streets. Completely fresh batch. Useful as hell, Ripper say. Drop the dime to you first, because, well, I'm rooting for you, kid. I'd love to see you get ahead of the pack. Hot tip. Thanks, Vic. Now how am I one? I gotta go. 